Uh, all right, guys. So we are on our third um, uh, summit of assignment here. Once again, I'm going to take these three assignments and I'm going to um, average them out for a test grade here. <clears throat> so just to um, kind of reiterate, um, we'll just um, look through here. We've got the first one was our, um, it's, it's called Summative Round Logo. And it was all about making a um, podcast with a uh, trolley on it. So there you go. Um, let's see here. This next one is about um, the uh, the Bitcoin or the blockchain, the internet security um, firm, the tech transfer thing called Onyx Block. And uh, over here we've got the last one for this. is This is the uh, rounded text summative assignment part three of three. So this is the, the last one we'll do this week. And it says, um, I want to run a crafty club and an online store. I want my logo to have our name Steep and Steel, arched at the top, and the words Artisan Tees arched at the bottom as if they were on a circle. Okay, so that's pretty clear. Inside the words, I want a picture of a teapot with a globe amaranth blossom inside. If you can put steam rising from the spout, that would be even better. The line should be the same width as the font used. The font should be in all caps, Sarah font like copper plate. I want it to look clean and vintage. Um, okay, so a couple things that we want to take a look. So copper plate. Let's look up copper plate font real quick just to get an idea what that means. Copper plate font. All right, so this is an example of copper plate font right here. So it's basically like a thick font, but it's also it's a serif font. So it has these little stems um, on the um, on on the bases of each letter, right? So she wants something that has like the stems. So when you choose your font, choose something that has like the little stems that that, that are kind of coming off the the, the tails here um, <clears throat> and she says she wants it uh, she wants whatever lines you use to um, be the same width so um, you know take that for what you you know what you will is she expecting lines uh, if you include lines make sure they're the same um, same width as the um, as the thing in the, she wants it all caps um, she obviously wants both, um, in this case, both of them are arched on a circle. So even though it says uh, all or some, in this case, you want to have all your text on a circle here. So it's the top and bottom on a circle. And make sure, uh, once again, that um, the text should be centered and should read from left to right. right? You want it to be able to be read, so it's, it shouldn't be upside down on the bottom. Um, right, so just abide by the other things that we've been talking about, the idea that like the text should be like on the same circle, right? So the top of the text and the bottom of the text should align like uh, all the other ones here. And uh, yeah, just make sure that, um, and then right here it says she wants a picture of a teapot with a globe amaranth blossom inside of it. Okay, so I've, done, I've, I've been working with this for a while here. And if you look up the, the word globe amaranth, right? Um, you'll see just this little sort of uh, uh, poppy looking flower here, right? So that's that's a pretty flower. Okay, so making a little drawing of that is one thing. But if you look up globe amaranth and then you look up T, okay, so you'll see a couple of different things here. So you'll see a few things here. And here's an example down here of like a, a sort of a flower tea right here so people will like actually put the flower blossoms in the tea so they come out dried and stuff and then like then they put the, the tea inside the flower and so this, this is a marigold tea and yeah so this is a um this is just a, a something to keep in mind so blossom um yeah so you can kind of look through this and get yourself an idea as to what you may want to um, uh, think about when you when you draw your teapot. Here's an example of like the a teapot with a flower on the inside of it. So keep that in mind um, as far as what you're looking for, and you know keep in mind like the ideas of, of looking at steam. When you draw the steam, um, make sure that you're drawing it nice and curvy and nice and wispy, and don't have any sharp edges to it. Just you know as far as advice goes. Very golden jasmine, and there's a little globe amaranth right there. So we got very gold jasmine and globe amaranth right there. So that's a neat little drawing there. So all right, um, cool. So um, keep that in mind um, as you're drawing this. Um, it, you, you know, obviously, you know, you can um, make this your own and put your own spin on it, but uh, you want to make sure you abide by the things that she's actually demanding here. So very cool. All right, well, I can't wait to see you guys produce. I'll see you guys in class.